welcome to a day in the life at the fishtails. <laughs> this is uh this is Lily sleeping here. My fuzzy little girl. Wake up in the morning. She does her morning stuff. She does a belly bear. She's a belly bear. Baby. Say hi, Ann. No. <laughs> it won't cave in. I'll be with you wherever you dare to go until the end. I can't really see her. I put my glasses on. <laughs> She's in playful mode. In Lily in playful mode. In the mornings, the way she gets, she gets playful. <laughs> she doesn't. She may look vicious, guys, but she never ever. She she won't hurt me. She just she just does little love bites. She doesn't hurt me. She's just playful. Time to let out. Time to go get Koopy out of his the kennel. Flash. The, the flash, the flash out of his kennel. I just want to show you guys something about um, RVs and how inefficient they are at staying the temperature they were when we went to bed. So when we went to bed, it was like 68 in here. I'm curious now to see what our actual temperature is inside the rig. Uh, let's see, inside temperature, 57 degrees. It was not as cold last night. Um, earlier this week when I woke up, it was 46 in here. <laughs> so freaking cold. I feel like I could see my breath almost. So yeah, that was a little much. Um, yeah, this is, this is the place in the morning is what it looks like in here. And uh, I'm going to go get Cooper. Cooper's, uh, Cooper sleeps in the garage because he's an old man. <clears throat> and he, uh, he whines a lot. He wakes up in the middle of the night and whines. I'm ducking so I don't hit my head on the, uh, the bunks in the back of the rig. So here, let's see Cooper come out of his kennel in the morning. Say hi, Coop. We call him the Flash because he flashes out of his camera. Come on, Cooper. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hi. See, Cooper's an old guy. Cooper's an old man. And so right now, because he's been having a lot of accidents, he wears a dighty. So we, uh, we have been using diapers for Cooper. Now, Cooper does not wear a doggy diaper because doggy diapers are like $1.50 a piece. He wears a size two child diaper that we cut a hole in the back of. And that works perfect. And it's uh, like 15 cents a piece. <laughs> so that's that's a smart way to do that if you have an old dog. So little child diaper. And you just cut Morning, a Cooper. little slit just like that. our charging station for all of our charging stuff. Where? Honey, you want your... We're going to put our shoes on and go outside. Honey, you want your watchy? Yes, please. Here comes your watchy. Hi, Lily. Hello. Hi, Cooper. You're going to go out in a sight. Just a put... second. You want to turn the fireplace on, honey? There you go. Yes, let's turn the let's fireplace on. turn the fireplace on. on. It's cold in here. That sounds good. Fireplace. 1500 watt heater, so it really heats the place up. All right, Cooper. Get a shirt on really quick. I'm going to get a dark. shirt on.
Christy's waiting for me, like always. Always waiting on him. Always He's waiting on me. Slower than anybody I know. Slower than molasses in January. Cooper's just anxious. Cooper's <laughs> always anxious to go out. He's, He's always anxious. I gotta pee really bad, Mom. Hi, let's go. Why isn't Lily hooked up? I don't know. I didn't get a chance to hook her up. Come here, Bubby. No. This, you want to watch Lily run around? She this always does this. This is not the run around game. Lily. She, she says it is. It's always the run around game. Come here. Come here, Goofy It's always the run around game. Why are you Why hiding you behind me? Why are you hiding behind my dad? <laughs> <laughs> and off we go. Off to the races. Whoa, Lil. Wait till the door is open, girl. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Still working on the shed this morning. It's going to be getting framed up today, so it's going to look pretty. It's going to look like more like a shed and less like nothing. Yeah, Cooper's Cooper's a long peer. He's like a little racehorse, except he's little and he's not a horse. Hey, Coop. Sorry to get you in a vulnerable moment. Hi, dumplings. What do you smell? What you smell? She always likes to go to the dog park, so that's where we're gonna go next. Come on, Coop. You wanna walk down the dog park really quick, buddy? Hey, come here. You got your leash all twisted. Come here. What you doing, Lil? What you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Hiya, hun. Hello. Boulder well, City, Nevada, walk. in the morning, going down to the dog park with Lily Bean oh. and Coopy. Poopy is also he known as wait. a patio pooper. He's an old man, so he can't wait. He can't walk very far. Mind if we uh, roll? Go ahead. I think Lily's go gotta me. gotta go. You Come on, Lil. Go. I'm Mom's gonna catch up. Morning. 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 Yeah. Looking forward to uh, the lake one of these days. Uh, so. Do you guys have kayaks? No. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. We have extras. We have two paddle boards and two kayaks. Yeah, we, we know the feeling. But you could kayak. Come on, little bean. You too. Come on, you little stinker. the dog parks. Dog parks here have one of the best views of the lake, which is kind of wrong, but it's all right because we're up here at least three or so times a day. Come here, Lil. Come on in. Hold on, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you unhooked. I get you unhooked. Oh. There you go. Now you can do go do your thing. Go do your stuff. Lake Mead down there in the distance. The neighbor pup. Hopefully Lily's not going to be a menace and be really loud and annoying. He's like, but I don't have to go to the bathroom anymore because I peed and pooped on the way. On the way here, he couldn't hold it. <laughs> Say hello. The picker upper. There she is. There's the poop maker. <laughs> the job and chore of dog parents. Well, see some more of our beautiful park in the morning. The lighting's so good. This is kind of a cool structure I didn't show before. There's a house here on the property. It still pays the HOA, but it's got all the benefits of being here and the privacy and everything. We usually just walk around the block in the morning and look, because we're gonna do a long hike today, so we don't wanna... Gotta give the dogs a chance to... Gotta give them a, a, a stretch. Especially Koopy, since he 
mostly lays around, sleeps all day. <laughs> Hi. Yep, there's our beautiful mountains. The BC up there stands for Boulder City. Yes. <laughs> I am going to check your little behind. There you go, buddy. Check the behind so we don't have runnies. You know what I was thinking about, hon? What? I was thinking we need to go to the container store. Uh huh. And we need to get <laughs> some of those bag storage things, one yes. of those bag storage things. We could either yes. put it right here or we could put it underneath the sink maybe. And yeah. then I was even thinking that since we just toss our our jackets right here, uh -huh. put a couple maybe we right just there. put a hook and a hook. Yeah, you know? that's a great idea. Because it, it just looks so messy, I know you know? It does. Well, we're going up to community breakfast this morning here at the clubhouse. One of the perks of living in a park like this is being able to hang out with others and enjoy some of the community things they put on. Yep, and they do quite a bit here, not a ton, ton. Like some parks do stuff like every day. We do, they do we do stuff times a couple a times a month, but it's a lot of fun. We enjoy it. And it's, uh, we're starting to get to know some of the people here pretty well because we walk with them every day and go to church with them and stuff like that. Walmart for your monthly shopping center <laughs> and all you have is a smart car then you get to ride home like that <laughs> and uh, we amazingly got everything in including the window we just picked up for the shed so it's pretty hard to avoid. She's hungry. See the see the foot sticking out the side? We call that her kickstand. Hi Lil. This is Cooper's look when he's hungry. See that? He stares at me. No, usually stares he runs around and gets in your face and jumps at you and tells you, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm going in too far. Hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Yes. This is the dog food. We call this percolating. We just put water in it. And we've been feeding them with only bottled water ever since we got on the road because when we first started getting on the road, they had the doo-doos all the time, right, Lily? Yeah. Lily, how do you do that? How do you do it with your leg? It doesn't look comfortable. What are you doing? She's got her foot sticking out the side and kind of upside down. How about you, Coop? How you doing, buddy? What's up with the fang? Tip with the fang. The fang. <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> There's our shed, everybody. Or at least Help the size me, I'm of stuck it. stuck in the shed. Oh, I think you can get out. Eric, let me out. Let me out. <laughs> You're so funny. Coop, what do you think of the shed? Cooper thinks I'm a weirdo. Cooper is a weirdo, so he would think that. Come on, Coop. Go potty, buddy. Well, there's our shed. It's a nice structure. It's gonna be super oh sturdy. See how well mounted that thing is. Huh? See how well mounted that thing is. Yeah. It's not playing around. I swear, are you ever gonna make it to the dog park before you decide to poop? He is not. 
He is not. That's not no, what he, he does. Knows. That is not what Cooper does. <sighs> he is not a go to the I'm dog park and poop here, sort of guy. <laughs> Life, with, Life dogs. with dogs. So it's so much fun. <laughs> when you live on the road and you don't have a backyard that you can just let the dog out in, you have to walk them constantly. Yes. At least three or four times a day. <laughs> and so we get a lot more steps than we used to get. Yes. Except for these guys because they're not on niches yeah, at all. I'm going to take this over here because Miss Barka Monster the is running. biggest things that running. I think is important to remember when you are in a park with dogs, carry bags with you everywhere. <laughs> Don't assume that they're going to have the, the little receptacles with bags. Some parks do have those, but they're not always full. Yep. Always carry your own bags. Pick up after your dogs. That's pick the biggest pet peeve of mine. Pick up after everybody else's dogs, too. Because mo a lot of people don't pick up after their dogs. It's common courtesy not to leave your dog's crap all over the streets and all over the, the place. It's not acceptable. We're not going that way. You know? She says, yes, I Just am. Just and keep your dog on a leash. Yeah. Always keep your dog on a leash. Yeah, because if they're off the leash and they take a crap somewhere, you have no idea where they went. Exactly. It's kind of what happens. I think that's why we're finding doodads around the park here and there. They're turning. Yes. Pick up after them and keep them on a leash. Two simple rules. Simple. And if your dog barks a lot, train your dog not to bark. Well, As best I mean, as you can. I mean, just our dog barks. Lily's a We know head. that. But we can get her to stop. She just likes to let herself known to other animals. Yeah. that are around that she's she thinks she's the boss she is the boss <laughs> no she isn't i'm the boss she is the boss look at that no no i'm the boss how could not that, that not be the boss i'm the boss oh See, come on now barking but you know that kind of stuff's typical but as yeah. long as you're on them like that owner was and you tell them to stop and they do then no big deal so it's the heat of the day. We're going to loop around the RV park it's right now. so nice right now. Let's see if Beautiful. I can switch hands here. She is just pulling. Do you want me to hold her? Yeah, that's better. She's a pulley. So you can kind of see the place a little bit since we're walking. That's, that's uh, down that way is downtown Boulder City. Not that there's really a downtown. So this is just a day in the life of Eric and Christy. Of us. I don't think, are we going to really make dinner? What are we making? We're making stir fry. Oh yeah, I guess we are. Somebody's coming Coo, in. Bee doo, in a, uh, bee. Golf cart. Golf carts. That's a, another thing that you get when you live in a trailer park. Or, I don't really call Lots this a trailer no, park. No, this is an RV park. RV resort. Lots of people have golf carts. There's a lot of older golf folks golf. that live here. And it's a pretty big place, so... Makes it easy to get stuff, get around. So this here is overflow parking. Yeah. Pay an extra 40 bucks a month to use that overflow space. Watch out, Lil. Run across people's cars. And then just behind that wall there is the desert. This is kind of what we want to do yeah, on the other side of our is. patio Just next year. Give us a little bit of a Something like that. Come on, Lil. You see home, Lil? Home sweet home, home right there. Sweet home. And the girls are coming. And we're back. And we're back. Lily's excited. She wants to say hi. She wants so badly to say hi. Hi. Hello. What you doing? I am going to be making some cranberry raspberry soda stream. Cool. So Show me how to do it. First thing you do is you fill up with water to the max fill line, which is right there. Kind of see it. Kind of yep. see it and hope I don't it. spill it. Sometimes I do. Let's watch Christy spill uh, it. I spill a little bit, but. Let's watch her spill. Use filtered water, good tip, because mm -hmm. the tap water here in Boulder City, Nevada is not the best in the world. 
There's a little bit more that went out. There's Nindy. All right, we're at the max fill line. Okay. Clean up my water mess. Always good to clean up after you make messes. Yes. And then there's two caps. Where's my other cap? The one right here. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> there's two different caps. There's this cap and this cap. This is when you're finished with the whole product. This is what you use to put on the soda stream. So this goes on like this. You twist it till you feel it click. And as you can see, there's these little guidelines here. You want to go with the big side towards the machine. And, and by it, the way, this is a soda sense, not sense. a soda stream. It just clicks on there and then it shoots back. And then you just punch, pump this until you hear it go. Yeah. So I'll show you. You do one, two, three. And that's the sound that says we are done. And then you want to push this up because it needs to let all the air out. Otherwise, you're going to get sprayed in the face when you take this off. Right. Yep. <laughs> So we're going to let that kind of simmer for a minute. Okay. And I think we're done. We're done. Pull this off. And since I just had water, you don't need to there. wash it out. And then this gives you a little cup that basically looks like this. You can fill it halfway if you like it less sweet or all the way to the top if you like it sweet. We do like our stuff sweet. So we're going to fill it all the way to the top. And then I learned the hard way, the best way to do this is to tip it a little bit when you start pouring because otherwise, oops, I'm spilling a little It'll bit. It'll do that. Otherwise, it will also fizz up on you. If you pour it too fast, it'll all come out the top. Yep. It'll and overflow. Get you. Just like it happens when you shake up your soda. Close that. Now we close this. And then you want to take this to mix the stuff in. You just want to kind of do this really quick. Slowly, not quick. Yes. Don't shake it, shake it. Slowly. Tilt it, tilt it. And we're done. We have cranberry raspberry. And it's super, super tasty. You've done how many steps? Let me look. 6,333 steps so far today. Three points oh seven miles and the series trying to say something to me <laughs> that's what she does <laughs> wonder how many i've done can you look you have done 6653 steps and 3.20 miles today there you have it see and we didn't even really go on a walk today no because when we take like an, a dedicated walk, we do 2.3 miles per walk. Like when we do those walks in the morning with the community members. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, we we didn't even take a real walk today. Yeah, that I was used, just walking around the park with the dogs. Usually when I take those, I get about five to 6,000 steps just in that alone. Yeah, and, and, then, then, and then another else I do throughout the day. couple miles throughout the day just taking the dogs around. So, yeah, it's a... It's good, good lifestyle that way. Much better than what we used to do at the old house. We're much more active. We, <laughs> way more active. We would, at the old house, we would basically get up to go let the dogs out and then go to let the dogs back in. So maybe... Excuse me. 20 <laughs> steps or something. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little bit rough. Now I'm going to get up and make some dinner. Yep, time and to feed, feed the, the dogs, dogs, and that got Lily's attention. Oh, that got Lily's total attention. <laughs> she Did you hear food. you're going to get fed, Lily? Did she you heard hear? Food and she her little eyes perked up. Cooper, Cooper what about you? Can anybody food? see you? He says I'm hiding. <laughs> yummy, yummy veggies. Yummy, yummy veggies. <laughs> Veggie fest. Lots of vegetables. Noodle fest. And then noodles and chicken. Chicken. Throw it all together with Yoshida sauce. Yum, yum. And then Yoshida's. And then we're going to put garlic, a of little bit more I of this in. I have to put garlic in yeah, it because, garlic. well, garlic's my friend. Because garlic's good. Garlic <laughs> is good. we got to keep the, the vampires away, if nothing That's else. Right. <laughs> and we love this oven. We oh, I love, love the oven. Stove. We would not go without this if we didn't have to. Well, if we get a... a uh, uh, All-electric uh, motorhome sometime. Well, if we, we get a Class a, a, I'm going to have to look for one with a stove because I love this thing. And I use do not want to give it up. I use it all the time. 